welcome back to another video my face is filthy yes i know that noise is annoying but i thought i'd start the video here so i've just replaced the dpf and the vtg actuator my cf85 i'm going to carry out regen on this do soot level reset and everything like that i'll go through that with you while i'm here um but we're going to be doing a euro 6 cf85 that wants a fan belt and tensioner and it also wants a water filter sensor as well so we're going to be doing both of them we're going to go through all that i hope you all keep well i hope you like the beetle video uh, obviously that'll be developing um but obviously this is my main stuff for hdv side so let's um let's do the sort level reset and do everything like that and then we'll regen it let it regen and then we'll get cracking on with the other job so i hope you enjoy the video and i hope you're all keeping well so i can't do foot soot level reset just yet because it's got a fault of soot level too high so what we're going to do is we're going to chuck a regen on it uh, remember all them criteria we need to meet for some reason let me try that again right so what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to carry out that. Right, so because we're not allowed to do that, we're gonna have to go to unlocking. That is idle. Right, key off. Right, start, engine off, key on. So. That is the most annoyingest noise ever. Right, so that's not letting us do that. So what we're gonna have to do is, we're gonna have to do an error clearance. Shut up. Right, so let's try and carry out a regen. I need to have a look into this, two seconds. So yeah, while that's doing that, we'll let that finish that. Hope you're all keeping well and everything's all good. All right, so we can turn the ignition on. It'll probably buzz off in a minute. I'm sorry about the noise. So we're gonna let it do that. Let me know what you think in the comments, by the way, about the Beetle, what do you think to it? Uh, so we've got engine reduced power. So that's now let me that's brought the level down just to below full, so we technically should be able to do a regen now, hopefully. So if we go to that one there, click on that. Right, so yeah, so we need to meet them criteria. So the main one, we've, we need engine running, which we've done. Uh, we also have, so call it liquid temperature there needs to be 60 degrees i think everything else is all good yeah so i'm gonna let that build up get that hot and then we'll come back to you when it's at temp temperature okay so after we've got that all up to temperature what we need to do all the errors are all errors sorry all the criteria are all been met so now we should be able to do this it'll probably want to put a stopwatch on again i know it's going to do it so it's just going to build. It's just going to build the revs up. Revs up now. Um, it's saying it's normal there. You must have had to sort of like bypass. I've never had that before like that. But yeah, we, that's going to be doing that. So that's going to be a good hour or so doing that. So I'm not going to film all of that. But that's just basically what I've been doing there for a start. I'm going to get the other one in. We're going to get a cab over. Uh, we're going to have a look at this fan belt and the tensioner and then this water filter as well. So let's uh, let's go and get that in and then we'll go through that. So just a quick update. Look at them temperatures, how high they are. But yeah, we're, uh, we're getting there. So anyway, let's get cracking on with the other one first and we'll come back to this after. So regen's all done. If we check the soot filter, we've got no 
it's empty so this is the, this one done the dp i thought i'd just go through it again just in case anyone wanted to know uh so we'll get cracking on and get this fan belt and tensioner off and um do this water sensor as well so let's go through where the tensioner is so if we look there there is our little tensioner 17 mil on them and then we're gonna get the belt off and we've obviously got to put it through the fan but there's our tensioner i'll just use a half inch flexible bar with a short 70 mil socket to get that off um so when well, the new one's got a pin in it to stop it from so it's pre retracted if you want to call it to uh to get the new belt and tensioner on so i'm going to try and record this bit as much as i can and then let's get the belt off and uh, we'll inspect the belt and uh, then we'll think about getting the tension off as well so we've got all that in let's uh think about lining everything up stick the torch there so 17 we'll go around so hopefully you can see that okay can draw a picture or whatever to um, see where everything goes but I know how it goes from these so yeah that's the belt off we're gonna have to think about getting the tensioner now uh, I think that might be a 17 as well so let's get the tensioner off and we'll have a look at that The only reason I'm doing it like this is because my ratchet is stuck. It's stuck again. That's the old one. And this is the new one. It's got this pin in here. Probably not. No, I'm not strong enough, it? But that pin there, so once you get it bolted in, Put a bit of tension on that bolt here put it down and pull the pin out and then it will flick up and tension the belt so yeah that's it i'm gonna get the belt out what i could do is just cut the belt because we're not going to use it again anyway uh cut the belt and get it off so let's do that and then we'll inspect the belt so let me just lift that camera up a bit. we have got uh we've got the tension and belt off belt isn't really that bad really any cracks in it don't know if you can see that but it's not really that bad but if we're going to do the tensioner we're going to do the belt at the same time so yeah can't really but either way we're replacing it new belt new tensioner so let's uh let's get the tensioner on get the belt on and then we're going to be doing this bad boy here there we go. We're going to do this water sensor. I'll show you what it says in my jar test as well. So let's uh, get it set up and let's put the new tensioner and the new belt on. 
So I just want to quickly show you before I put it on. On there, there's a lug right there. And that will, if you can see, line up with the holes down there, if you can see that. See that hole? So that will line up with that. So you can't really get it wrong. Well, hopefully you can't get it wrong. So let's get it bolted up, 15 mil for the bolt. Um, let's get that all secure and then we'll move on. Here I'm doing is just feeding the belt through the fan and then I'll be feeding it around the outside of the fan while turning it. If you see the belt there, it's gone around the outside and I'm just feeding it all the way around. So through the middle of the fan, fan fins and then around the outside. So that was a bit of a fucking, that was a bit of a nightmare to be honest with you. Um, the only thing you have got to do is this plug and do that and disconnect the plug there to be able to get it all the way around but so feed it through the fan that way and then put the belt over the outside just turn the uh turn the fan as you're pulling the belt through so i'm going to get that plug out of the way first and then we'll get it in position to line it all up and uh, put it all together i'm going to draw you a diagram of how it goes together just in case you're unsure so me personally get the near side belt round first round the uh, alternator and air con pump and then get it somewhere around the crank as well because you're going you're gonna to have to be this side to take the tension off to put the belt on. So I'm going to get the belt on and then I'll draw you a picture of how it goes. So that is the belt on uh, and the tension are done. That's where that pin went just there. So just a quick one. So we're going to go, when we put it on, we're going round the alternator, round the air con pump, underneath the crank, over the tensioner, over the water pump, and underneath the idler there. So yeah, take a picture of that, do whatever you want to do. That's how it goes back on. So it is a bit of a pain sometimes when you think you've got it on and then realise it's not quite on the crank, which can be a not bit of a pain and frustrating, but it is what it is. So let's... Um, Let's do the uh, sensor for the fuel filter. So here is, there is our sensor just at the bottom there. Two hex keys. Uh, we get any new ones? Do we not? So yeah, and it's plugged in just here. And then at the bottom there, there will, there will be fuel come out obviously. Uh, I don't know if you've done one of these. I've done one on a 64 plate, sorry, 67 plate and I had to take the whole filter house out. It was a nightmare, but let's uh, get this set up, get this new one out, the new one in, and then we'll plug it in, and I'll go through the diagnostic because it's still saved it, hopefully. And yeah, we'll, then we'll clear all the faults, but just a quick one with that tension. Remember that 30 mil there on that little wiring loom that goes through the middle. You'll need to take that, remove that for the, to get the belt over, so. Yeah, let's get that out and uh, I'll show you the old one. So we've got it out. That's the old one. Nothing special. I might have told you that the plug was down here. I was wrong. It's up here. And it loops around in there like that. 
as it is when ended. And that clip pushes out like so. Then it goes not like that. Let me just get that back together. So yeah, that clip just clips on there. You push that, that slides on and off, and then we'll push. Okay, so we've got the new one in. As I was explaining before the fact, before it cut off, just uh, that clip just pulls out and pulls it, just slide under there, put the clip in and clip it in. So I'm gonna bleed it up. Um, just gonna pump it up here, uh, prime it all up, and then we'll run it up and make sure well, I'll clear the faults first and then we'll make sure it runs all right and everything and then that'll be it for that. And then we'll do the outro to the video. So, sorry, here are our faults. Uh, we look, there is our water sensor in the fuel, low voltage short circuit to ground, 126 times. It has got a few faults in there that maybe it's something I need to have a look at. It's obviously had a particular soot filter high as well. Cylinder three, con cylinder contribution is too high. Yeah, quite a few faults there. Knock sensor, that's okay. Uh, Trailer reverse lights. So yeah, that's the fault we had for it. So, so all I'm gonna do, delete all the faults, and then we'll start it up, run it up, make sure nothing comes back on, and then hopefully we should be all good. Okay, so all areas are cleared. Should be able to start it. No lights on there. Nothing's come back on. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, that's the wall sensor done and the fan belt and tension are done. So I'm gonna end this video right now. So I just want to say thanks for watching. Thank you for your continued support. Obviously I had a bit of time off uh, and people still watched, liked, commented and, and subscribed. So I really appreciate it. Um, doing this job, uh, the water sensor's five mil hex key. You'll need a hex key socket for that. Um, what else do we need? Fan belt tensioner is 15 mil for the bolt that holds it in, 17 mil to take the tension off it. Uh, what else do we need? 30 mil for the nuts that hold the engine cover on. It's pretty simple, really. And obviously, a cab bar. But yeah, quite not a bad job, really. Pretty simple. So, obviously, you need a gel test with a lot of it. Um, but yeah, not not a bad job whatsoever, really. Like I say, I've got the Beetle job going. Well, the Beetle's here now, so that'll be cracking on soon. Uh, this week, I'm back doing the jury duty and everything so i be hit and miss with videos this week so this will be out Tuesday or Wednesday um, but thank you all for your continued support thank you all for liking like commenting subscribing and all the nice comments you've been been doing lately uh, I really appreciate it so I hope you're all keeping well I hope I can see you all for the next video enjoy the rest of your week take care and I'll see you all soon